In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a sand writing text effect in Art Text. Sand text effect will involve creation of a custom shading material and applying different distortion effects. Start by adding 2D text using the plus button. Then change the default text to the word love via the text tab of the inspector panel. After that, change the font to one that resembles handwriting. By clicking the font button in the inspector panel, the font dialog will appear with all your system fonts. In addition to system fonts, Art Text has Google Fonts integration. So I will use one from the Google Fonts collection. Next, add a background layer and use a custom folder option to import a photo of a sandy beach. With the scale slider, you can fit the picture to the canvas any way you'd like it. I recommend you then lock this layer to avoid background movement when you continue to work with the text. To return to working with the text, click on it to select. Then move on to create a custom shading material from the fill section of the inspector. In the drop down list of shading material categories, select Create a Material. Then in the dialog that appears, click the plus button to begin creating a new shading material. Creating a shading material involves setting up ambient color, light direction and elevation, as well as diffused and specular colors, shininess, and spot size. You can add more than one specular spotlight. Once done, click the Apply button to save the new shading material properties. The new shading material will appear in the Custom Materials list. Click on it to apply to the word Love. Change size, the shading material light direction and depth if necessary, and activate the Bump Map option to make the text surface uneven. Click on the gear icon next to the Bump Map to change the texture and make the surface rough to look more like sand. Then you can adjust the texture scale and amount to make it resemble sand even more. Now move on to the Effects tab and activate the Shadow option. Shadow appearance is controlled by Blur, Distance, Angle, and Color parameters. To add a distortion effect, click the plus button under the Distortion section. Add roundness distortion first to make the text corners more rounded. Then add a displacement distortion to create torn text edges. After that, add another displacement to intensify the torn effect. Next, duplicate the text layer using the Command D key. After that, select the lower layer with text and change the shading material light direction 180 degrees. This is how you achieve an embossed effect for one layer and a debossed effect for another. Then remove all of the distortion effects and the shadow option from the newly created text layer and replace them with a new set of distortions. This time you will also need to add the outer distress distortion. Now you are done with adding the distortion effects and need to move on to adjusting the shading material bump map. Congratulations, your sand text effect is ready.